me, what is the purpose of this festival? It's actually, uh, we are hoping at the end of the day that uh, people, they change the image, that a lot of media, they, um, they use it wrong, and I hope uh, uh, that they can get the positive. This idea came first with everything that is happening after all these terrorism att attacks and people they they do not you know know better about Muslims because they just assume that they're all terrorists and so we discussed among us and we're like we need to do something we need to show to the people that we are just as human as everyone else we condemn actually all these attacks and we feel feel sad for any misjustice or any um, you know terrorism happening either in the name of the religion or by any other name and we wanted to show to our community that we love so much and that we serve as teachers as lawyers as doctors we want to show them that what we're doing here we want them to share with us our culture we want them to know who we are they brought it in and told us she's the number one pick you got the job but you got it with the outfit it's the position that you put me in i've been struggling with my i continue looking for a job again i think that my religion i would the kind of the point of it is not just to you know um, you know show Islam and let you know what Islam is really about but it's kind of also to bring the community together um, I volunteered in a few other community events in Malden and we love the idea of it like you know actually knowing other members in the community that aren't just your neighbors or your people in school so like getting to know people you know your mayor who's your chief police like you know all these people that can help you out and that can you know just be there and um, and like hopefully in, in doing so we intend to you know raise awareness about what Islam really is and what you know where where we stand as Americans um, are, are definitely we definitely don't hate America we love America and we love you know their people and we're very diverse and we love to connect with them and we just kind of want those people to you know step away from what they see that's constantly that the people that are constantly portraying Islam as a horrible thing and kind of get closer to a, per, an, a Muslim on a one-on-one -on -one level and understand who they really are and what they really do. I noticed that you have, as you said, comedians, and then I also noticed you had on the program uh, doing a selfie with a hijab. Yeah, so I don't think that's going to be on stage, but on one of our booths, um, we have a try a hijab on, and so a head covering, and then you kind of do a selfie just so, you know, as a memory, as to make it, to add a little spice to it. Um, and yeah, it's kind of the point. So I've had friends in elementary school and middle school that like saw me, for example, wrap it on in the bathroom. They're like, that's it? Like, all you have to do is like literally drape the cloth over your head. And so it's kind of just to show you how simple it is. And like, it's not the actual covering. That's just, um, it's like symbol for many more uh, deeper meanings of modesty and respect and the way we carry ourselves in the public. So, yeah. Prayers to Allah, even in Hong Kong. Can never be wrong if you read the Quran. Cause it's never been changed since day one. Others may brag, say that we lack. But they don't know all the power we have. The power we have, the power we had. So most people don't you ever feel sad. Take many looks, go read their books. You see all the facts that your friends overlook. So always be proud, you can say it out loud. I'm proud to be down with the Muslim crowd. I'm really glad this is happening. Uh, I'm a peace activist. I work with Massachusetts Peace Action. And I think it's particularly good that this festival is happening right now in this uh, climate of increasing intolerance. You know, I think uh, Islamophobia is at really shocking levels in this country right now. And we have a front runner for president who's, who's made, I mean, to say he's made explicitly Islamophobic statements is, is you know, an understatement. So it's wonderful to see all these people here. And also, of course, you know, this festival represents um, the diversity of the religion. You see, we have people here from South, uh, you know, Southeast Asia, South Asia, North Africa, the Middle East, everywhere, you know? And so I think this is a very important event and I hope it keeps happening for a long time. This is our first time here. And I'm really very happy to see so many people here. And it's wonderful, we thank Malden City and other organizations who have uh, helped help sponsor this. Uh, this is a great, great, uh, I mean, gathering, I must say that. 
I would agree. That everybody seems so warm and, and friendly and kind and generous. What do you hope will come from this festival? What do you hope will happen after this festival? I, and and the, the, the concept of Islamophobia, that has to be taken out. We love this country, we'll sacrifice for this country. I'm not born, but my children are all born in this country. So they are over here. Where I will go? <laughs> yeah, somebody has to tell me. That's the thing. You're all American. American. Yes. And we need each other, right? Of course, of course. <laughs> Hello. Hello, who are you? What's your name? My sister. My Simon Nahar. So you're sisters. Yes. She's new. <laughs> She's my latest friend. <laughs> and if I were to ask you, what does unity mean to you? What does what would you say? Unity means you work together, you help each other. You also in a happy time and a bad time. And how do you think we can use our differences in that unity? How can they play a positive role? It's respect. Respect for each other. You have your thing, I have my thing. You respect me, I respect you. So, value each other. I like that, value each other. And that you can only do by getting to know each other, right? Which we're doing today. Together. <laughs> Don't ever frown with your head looking down If you read the Quran, you're the best in the town We all have doubts and we have no doubt But in a few years, see how we've come about Now back on the scene, the number one D I'm proud to be down with the Muslim D And you as a dead I am I'm so You can smell it, you can say it, yeah. you as a dead I am